Hey everyone! Understanding your vehicle's oxygen sensor wiring is crucial for diagnosing and fixing issues with your engine's emission system. In this video, I'll walk through the most common oxygen sensor wiring diagrams so you can visualize exactly how these sensors connect to your car's computer. Whether you have a one, two, three, or four wire oxygen sensor, we'll look at how to read each type of diagram. Let's get started. First, what does an oxygen sensor do? This sensor measures oxygen levels in the exhaust to provide feedback to the engine computer. This allows it to adjust the air-fuel mixture for optimal performance and lower emissions. The oxygen sensor is located in the exhaust system, usually screwed into the exhaust manifold. There are a few types of oxygen sensors. Zirconia sensors for precise measurements in emission systems. Titania sensors for industrial uses like furnaces. Wideband sensors for electronic fuel injection. Narrowband sensors for older carbureted engines. Now let's look at the wiring. Oxygen sensor diagrams use color-coded wires and symbols to show how power, ground, and signal are connected. One wire sensor. The simplest is a one wire sensor. It has a single wire used for the signal voltage that runs to the computer. The sensor grounds through its metal body to the exhaust pipe. Two wire sensor. A two wire sensor adds a dedicated ground wire along with the signal voltage wire. Both of these run to the computer. Three wire sensor. A three wire oxygen sensor adds wiring for an integrated heater. The heater helps the sensor reach operating temperature faster. There are two heater wires that connect to power and ground, and a third wire for the sensor signal. Four wire sensor. Finally, a four wire oxygen sensor separates the heater and sensor circuits. Two wires are for power and ground for the heater. The other two connect the sensor signal volt and ground to the computer. Heated vs. non-heated heated sensors have better performance since they reach operating temp faster. Non-heated sensors rely solely on the exhaust to heat up. So in summary, one wire sensor grounds through the body, two wire adds a dedicated ground, three wire adds heater wiring, four wire separates heater and sensor circuits. There you have it. Now you know how to identify and interpret one, two, three, and four wire oxygen sensor wiring diagrams. Understanding the exact wiring for your vehicle's specific sensor is crucial for troubleshooting. Be sure to grab the correct diagram before working on your emission system. I hope this overview helps explain these critical engine management system diagrams. Let me know in the comments if you need any other sensor wiring diagrams covered. And don't forget to like and subscribe.